Hello everyone, welcome to the quick view for WooCommerce plugin video tutorial. This plugin allows your customer to quickly view product information in a nice pop-up without opening the product page. Your probable customer can navigate from one product to another using next and previous product button. Product can easily be added to the cart from the pop-up. There are a lot of options in the plugin to customize the product quick view. Let me give you a quick overview of all the plugin features one by one. So let's get started. Once you have installed and activated the plugin in your WordPress dashboard, you will see a menu called Quick View. When you click on it, it will take you to this page. Here you will find all the options to configure your Quick View pop-up. Initially you will be in the general settings. Enable or disable the Quick View button from here. Choose the layout from left image, right image, top image and bottom image. Let's have a look at the layouts one by one. So this is the left image layout. This is the right image layout. And this is how the top image layout looks like. And finally this is the bottom image layout. Select a modal effect from several options. If I select zoom in, save the changes and reload the page, then the pop-up will show up with a zoom in effect. So this is how the zoom in effect works. Set a model width and height from here. Distribute the space between the product image and content in a reciprocal manner. By default the area is set to 50% for each. Change the model background color from here. You can set the quick view button almost everywhere of the product catalog. Like you can set it before add to cart button, after add to cart button, above add to cart button, below add to cart button and etc. If I select over product image on hover, you can set an overly color as you like. So now let's see how it looks. As you can see the quick view button is showing on image hover. When you click on it, it will pop up the quick view. You can set the button style as custom button or you can add a custom button class and modify the button styling as you like. Configure the button color, border, border radius and padding from here. Set how fast you want to pop up the quick view when you click the button. By default the value is set to 0.5 second, if you want you can increase or decrease it. Select a button icon from icon or custom image. And if you wish you can set no icon as well. Let's select a icon first. This is how it looks. Select custom image to upload a custom icon. You can select any icon from the media like this. And if you want you can remove the icon as well. Check the box if you want to hide the quick view button label. And when it is unchecked you can change the quick view button label as you like. Enable the option if you want to display the pop-up by clicking the product image or name. Now let's move on to the modal settings. Show or hide the cell flash from here. This is the cell flash I am talking about. Show or hide the fields that you want to display in the model and also you can order them by simply doing drag and drop like this. Configure the social icons from here. You can choose icon shape, icon alignment and custom color. Show the full description instead of the short description. When you show it, it will replace the short description. Show product tabs and related products in the model. When I show it and see the quick view, you can see the product tabs are showing like this and those are the related products. Resize the product image from the model. Set a modal background color as you like. You can also set modal border and content padding. Enable or disable the Ajax add to cart. When the option is enabled, you can change the add to cart button level as you like and also configure the add to cart button color from here. Check the box if you want to close the model after adding a product to the cart. You can add a view details button to redirect the user to the product single page from the model. Also you can change the button level. Check the box if you want to open product details in a new tab otherwise it will show in the same tab. So let's see how the view details works. So this is the view details button showing beside the add to cart. Set a padding for the view details button and you can also set border radius for the button. Check this box if you want to redirect the user to the checkout page after adding a product to the cart and change the rating color from here. 
enable or disable the quick view from wish list. Show hide the model close button. When you show it, you can set a position for the model close button. Like you can set it inside corner of model, outside corner of model and top right corner of the web browser. So if I set outside corner of model and save settings and reload the page, you can see the close button is showing outside corner of the model. Select an icon for the select an icon for the model close button from here and change the icon color as you like and also you can change the size of the model close button. Check this box if you want to close the model when clicking on the background overlay. Select a thumbnail type from slider or classic mode. If you want you can set do not show as well. So let's see how the classic mode works. So this is how the classic mode looks like. And when you select slider mode and save the settings, you can see the slider mode settings changes here. A navigation arrow is showing on the slider mode. Set the thumbnail position from bottom or top. If I select top and save the settings, reload the page, you can see the thumbnails are showing at the top of the product image in the model. Turn on or off the product gallery slider auto pay and show or hide the product gallery slider navigation arrows. When you show it, you can set an icon from different icon presets and change the icon size as you like. Select a product gallery slider pagination from thumbnails, dots or off. If I select dots and save the settings, reload the page, you can see the pagination is showing as dots. Set the pagination visibility from here, you can either set on hover or always. Set how many thumbnails you want to show in the product gallery slider. By default the value is set to 6, if you want you can change it. Enable or disable to make thumbnails item grayscale. Set a border, border style, color, hover color for the active thumbnail. Enable or disable the zoom effect for the gallery images and the light box. So let's see how the feature looks like. So you can see when I hover the mouse over the image, the product is zooming and when you click on it, it will display in the light box. Show or hide the product quick view navigation. So this is the quick view navigation. You can change the product quick view by clicking on the navigation. Select a navigation style from slide, rotate or arrow only. So if I select arrow only and save the settings. I reload the page you can see the quick view navigation is showing only the arrows change arrow icon from different options and also you can change the arrow icon size from here if you want you can change the arrow icon color hover color background and hover background color as well enable or disable the preloader from here and select a preloader type from preloader icon or loading level. Select a preloader icon design from different options. If I select this one and save the settings and reload the page and click on the quick view, you can see a preloader is showing before the pop-up. You can change the size and color of the preloader icon. When you select a loading level, you can change the loading level of the preloader. Now let's move on to the typography settings. Here you can change the quick view button, product name, price, excerpt, add to cart, view details and meta fields, font properties like font family, font style, text alignment, color, font size and etc. If I change the quick view button label font properties like this one and enable the google font from here and reload the page you can see the quick view button font properties has been changed. Now let's move on to the advanced settings. Check the box if you want to enable quick view button on mobile devices and check this one to enable the quick view for iPad and write the custom CSS and JS here to modify the plugin default styling. Finally this is the license activation page where you need to insert the license key to activate the plugin. So that's all about the quick view for WooCommerce plugin. In the upcoming videos I will show you how you can use all those features in the plugin to make the quick view even more attractive and meaningful. Until then take care.